I think a great drill to do, um, you know, you can have a, a group of pitchers standing on the mound. Maybe you have a group at third base and then you have your two catchers behind home plate. So one catcher's in there, coach is pitching, you know, and you're working on the catcher blocking, right? So the catcher is getting his blocking work in. And then anytime there's a pass ball, you have a, a handful of runners at third. So pass ball, the, the group that's on the pitcher's mound has to sprint home. So that catcher is working on getting back to the backstop, fielding it, either underhand tossing it, power flipping or throwing it. That pitcher's covering. And then, you know, if there's a rundown, you've got that, that player at third base yelling runner. Maybe they get the guy into a rundown. You can work on rundown. So, you know, just in one station right there, you've got really four groups. You've got catchers, you've got pitchers, third baseman, and then you've got a group working on base running where they're working on dirt ball reads, trying to get a good jump on it. But you're working on blocking. You're working on covering the plate. You're working on base running and getting good reads on pass balls or balls that kick away and then potentially working on rundown. So that's just one thing that comes to mind on, uh, you know, working on that skill set. And at seven to nine year olds, you're gonna, or seven to nine years old, you're gonna see a lot of pass balls. So, you know, I think the more, uh, the more stuff you can do with backing up bases and what position you have to be in, and you know, where do I go if this situation happens, and really just ingraining in their head that baseball IQ, I think is key. But I would definitely set that station up at practice, you know, get the four stations going. Um, you know, seven to nine year old, seven to nine year olds, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a lot of guys catch, you know, teaching everybody how to play the catcher's position. Um, because more times than not, the catcher is going to have to pitch at some point. So getting more kids acclimated to putting the gear on, getting back there, teaching them how to bro uh, block properly, I think is only going to add more value and depth to the team. I think something else to look for as well is what we what we do with our guys is we're always trying to take two bases, two bases on a pass ball. So at 11, when you're taking that good lead, boom, you see the ball go by the catcher. We're rounding second base hard, and we're thinking about actually getting to third. And one of the things that we look for is if the pitcher, when the catcher goes to the backstop, if the pitcher stands on the mound, we have the guy take off running as soon as he throws. Because as soon as the catcher who's back behind home plate throws the ball all the way to the pitcher, the pitcher then gets it, turns and fires, he's gonna be safe. So as a pitcher, walk at least halfway towards home so the throw's really short, and that guy then has the ball to stop everything. We also look for that catcher that just wants to catch the ball and just flick it back to the pitcher. So just make sure if that ball's pack, if there's a pass ball, make sure the pitcher takes a few steps towards home plate and just doesn't stay real far back because now you're talking about a really, you know, a really far throw and it's easy to take an extra bag on that. So just be aware of that.